Hi everybody, good morning. This is a new second room that released today by Try Hack Me, Tardy Grady. Uh, okay, let's start. Okay, we start. They give us an SSH, so SSH is your shoe. Uh, turn, turn. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, let me get my IP quickly. Okay, first let's start the virtual machine. We answer that we need to connect to the server. The IR team has provided a credential. Okay, 10101847. Uh, what the hell I'm doing here? At Armani. Armani, so you know you like clothes. Okay. LS. What is the version LSB? What that one? LSB release minus A. Or we can use cat.etc LSB. So the system is Ubuntu. I'm not surprised. Next one. Let's investigate. Since we are in a account already, we might as well look around. Let's look around. Nothing. Hidden file. Okay. What is the most interesting file found? Of course, the most interesting is this. It's flashing in your red. It's not a normal any bed bash. You can see it's said. Okay. The room. It's a Denver investigation. Is about. It's good to keep dirty word list to track all your finding, no matter how small. Basically, this one is file and recording documentation is important. Another file that can be found in every user, this is the bash SSC. Usually, this file, vim dot bash SSC. This is the file where you get all the aliases, uh, uh, configuration, person configuration for the normal user, and all of that. You can also put funny stuff here when the log, uh, user log in, you can uh, start some services and things like that. Can you check and you find any something interesting? Is something interesting? And uh, the hint talk about alias. So we need to look what is this alias? Is, uh, yeah, you can see this alias. First of all, it's a shell. You can see here. So this is already f red flag. The next one it seems we have covered the usual basic in the home directory, so it's time to check the shadow. So, so it's a cron, cron tab minus e. Let's see what's uh, the cron. You can see we have this funny things again that uh, keep running. Have we got that? No. Uh, dirty wet list again about dirty wet list essential raw documentation of the investigation from investor perspective it may contain everything okay okay he give us the flag I think here the point is you must write down all your finding that's the whole point of this room a few moments of the root let's see as you do my early uh, Armani it seems our friend can do too many things as you do SU we are the root because you can do whatever you want I don't need privilege escalation here he said a few moments after login you see an error message okay that's the error message and then after moving forward with the home uh, let's moving forward then after we move forward we can see this Then you might wonder how did this happen? Of course, remember the file that we talked about it before. Now let's uh, go to uh, root directory. This means remember we talk about this file that contain all the stuff. You can see where is the hide. Uh, this the command. So the file is dot. What the name? Sometimes I just get confused. Dot bash rc. Let's continue our investigation after checking Gringo and root account. It's essential to free from all because we have uh, all the access. 
This warm up system mechanism in the system. A good way to systematically dissect the system is to look for usuals and unusual. For example, you can check for command b abuse or unusual file or di uh, directories. Okay, this specific persistent mechanism is directed tied to something and someone. So we're talking about users here that already p fresh in Linux. Uh, it's a usual user. If we're talking about users, to check the user in any Linux system, we just check the password. The f the okay. Here we need to check all of them. Basically, he said someone and something, and then they're, they're not standard. Basically, when you check this part, you look always the name and then the shell. No login, no login, no login, no login, no login. Because a normal user like Gringo here, Gringo, it's you has a bash shell. Uh, some they don't have no login. So let's check if anything stand out. Login, login, false, no login, no login, no login. Oh, our friend, nobody. You see, like for example, in my computer, an Ubuntu, nobody can by default buy no login shell. So this one has a bash shell. So this is the flag here. So this user, not supposed to be this one. So this one was modified. Now, that we have found the final persistent mechanism is simple technique now. Of course, the first file that we found the first time that bash read, we can delete them. This one might be take some time because we need to for the user and all of that. Finally, as we already found the final persistent mechanism, there is a value in going all the way through the end. The advisory left a golden nugget of advice somewhere. The hint is said, the hackers seem to play and hide the nugget, make sure to check your working directory. We are in the root, so... If we go to the we can see this file already stand out. What is this CD non-existence? And then we go there, so it's hidden file. Okay, we can see you found me. So if we don't cut, you find me, when do we have the flag? And one first, thank you everybody. This room was exciting and uh, not that difficult like last week. Please like and share and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.